23rd of March, 2020, the UK went into full lockdown. We were stuck in student halls. Last minute flights home before the border closes. It is for the best. By September, this will end, we thought. Everything was put on pause as we shut the doors and were put inside four walls that we were not supposed to be in. It wasn't long before those walls began closing in. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. The measures, unlike anything since the Second World War, will last for at least three Students weeks. Students have been done over on their A-levels. They've been done over on Fresh's Week. The government's now threatening to lock them up. The government has defended its decision to allow hundreds of thousands of students in England to return to university for the new term, despite several outbreaks of coronavirus. University life has been completely transformed by the pandemic. For many, it's taken a toll on their mental health. One in five people appear to have depressive symptoms. That compares to one in ten before COVID-19 hit. A glimpse of hope as we all go back. You told us to. Remember you said that? Already one pandemic, you have let another one creep in. Another friend lost. This cannot be forgiven. We paid for lecture halls. We had to use our bedrooms. We paid for community. You gave us faces on screens. We paid for the support. We had to resort to finding other means. Blamed and scapegoated, but otherwise forgotten. But here we are. For every letter you dismiss, we send more. For every question you divert, we ask again. Every time you try to silence us, we will always shout louder. We cannot let this go. We are the branches of future society. We will not forget the time our government abandoned us when we needed them the most. We will not be forgotten students. So tell me now. Did you hear that?